his expense. If comic Zelensky were to look at President Zelensky today, he would get a lot of fodder for his scripts. One, the president has not been able to weed out corruption. Two, the Pandora Papers have exposed Zelensky's murky businesses. Volodymyr Zelensky has offshore holdings, his own companies in British Virgin Islands, Cyprus and Belize. His team says Zelensky is quote-unquote like any other business person in Ukraine, but you don't get to be both a businessman and a statesman. Three, Zelensky has also displayed authoritarian traits. He has banned three TV stations in Ukraine. Observers say, just like Putin, Zelensky too may be seizing power from the oligarchs only to strengthen his own personal authority and advance his interests. In 2020, Zelensky dismissed a general prosecutor because he reportedly refused to pursue cases that helped the president's cause. A governor of a national bank was removed too because he was not loyal enough. The deputy governor too was removed because she had raised concerns about the bank's independence. Four, Zelensky has failed to deliver his biggest campaign promise. There is no peace in Donbass. The region has now been taken over by Russian forces. Five, Zelensky may have underplayed warnings of the war. He first accused the West of hurting Ukraine's morale. Then he decided to spook the world. He said Russia would attack on the 16th of February. Later, he said he was only quoting media reports. Today, Zelensky spends his days in bunkers, cheering his forces, appearing on TV every now and then. He's the only Ukrainian president to face a full-fledged invasion. He has the support of his voters. His approval ratings are at an all-time high. There is obviously a threat to his life. Zelensky, after all, is reportedly Russia's target number one. He's often heard telling global leaders that this might be the last time you see me alive. And every time a parliament applauds Zelensky, he says, thank you, but we want you to do more. There is no doubt he has risen up to the occasion. But come to think of it, he did not have much of a choice either. Fleeing Ukraine means losing presidency and a lot more. The Western media is drawing parallels between Zelensky and the emergency team that responded to 9-11. They've already pronounced him a hero. But it may be too early to say how history will judge this president of Ukraine.